Hi, Dorcas and Kubi. Hi, Mrs. Rosado. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming over to my house tonight and ha sharing a little dinner and being willing to record what it was like for you when you first came to CHS and what it was um, like for you now and giving us a little bit of information about where you are now. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> So I just want to give everyone a little bit of a background. Now, Dorcas, you graduated in 2017. 18. Oh, 2018. Yeah. Oh, okay, very good. I don't know. I had you graduating early. You probably could have. <laughs> um, and you came in the eighth grade. And you were 13. Yeah. And you were very disappointed because you wanted to go into the ninth grade right away. Yes. And you were very angry that you went into the eighth grade. Yeah. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that. And Kubi, you came in the ninth grade. Yes. And you were 17? Yes. 17 so. years old. Yeah. And Mr. Hall and I talked you into, well, your father supported us yeah. starting in the ninth grade. Yes. And I don't know that you were very happy about that. I don't that think anymore. I was, but I, I, um, eventually I was glad that I did stay a year. Um, yes. From what I understood from talking to your dad, you had missed a few years of schooling. Yes. And so that was something we were taking into consideration. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fantastic, so let's go. I wanna ask you um, what it was like, what you can remember, and how it felt on your first day of school. Maybe, Kubi, I can, I can you go like, first. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to start? <laughs> okay. In the back of my mind. So the first day, before I even got here, I was like reading dictionaries, trying to learn a lot of vocabularies, and it was, um, I don't think I could have done it. It was really hard because I wasn't motivated to like really learn English like that And it wasn't the best way to learn English, especially if you have everyone speaking French around you So I'm like, let's just win and when we get there, we'll figure it out And then the first day I walk in CHS and there were people eating in the cafeteria and all of them Almost all of them had laptops and they were just typing all like so focused <laughs> on typing and I'm like We don't have that in Africa. I've never used it laptops even we're not even allowed to have I was in the Catholic school we're not even allowed to have our phones there so everything was on paper so I wasn't used I had like a computer science course but it wasn't really we we're just playing games so I never knew how to I didn't even know what Google uh, Word or Google Doc or Google <laughs> Slide whatever it was so I had no idea so I saw them like working all focused on their laptop i mean i've seen it on tv but i didn't know it was that intense and everything has to be done on the laptop you have to turn stuff on the laptop so i had no idea so that first impre uh, impression was already overwhelming to me and i started like just shaking while i was walking to the office to talk to mr hall and and then i had to take a test and they gave me like a math equation to solve which was pretty straightforward math, math is like a universal language and then um, I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then I think Mr. All was talking in English as well. I couldn't understand anything he was saying. I think my dad was translating. My dad was there, so he was translating. I'm like, yeah, you guys figure it out. And then, <laughs> and then Mr. Zara came in and then they said something I don't remember. And, and they were like, okay, you're gonna say ninth grade. I'm like, what does that mean? What's ninth grade? I didn't even know what that mean. And then I went and my dad translated and was like, okay, that's like first year ODC, which is like um, high school, if you want to translate it in, uh, in English. And I was like, but I'm not, that's not my grade. I'm supposed to be in 10th grade. <laughs> and so that, that was already, I was already mad by, by that. <laughs> and then, so that took me like a year to like come to, to the fact that it was a good decision for me. I had to learn English. And then I realized, okay, I also want to go to college. I also want to take SATs and ACTs and everything. So um, so then I'm like, okay, then that's fine. Like spend a year like behind and then learn the language. It's not, it's not a big deal because if you want to meet your goal, you have to make a few sacrifices. And that was like one sacrifice that I had to make. And thank you to for Mr. Zaro <laughs> for like making me do that. Yeah. Well, all right. That's very interesting <laughs> Thank you. and uh, insightful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Now, Dorcas, can you remember Oof. your first day <laughs> in the eighth grade? Yeah. Um, wow. That that's a long time ago, indeed. Um, I think for me, uh, I remember coming in with um, 
already goals in mind. I'm just like, okay, like I'm going to study. I'm excited. And I got there and Mrs. Rosado, Greeny, and, and my brother, I think. Um, and it, it, it was great. And then Olivia gave me the tour to the cafeteria. I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like, it's like, it, we, it was just so overwhelming, not just about uh, the school itself, but like the culture, like everyone is different. Everyone looks different than you. Um, you're just intimidated by what you see. And the first class we went to was Mr. Gagne's class. Um, and he, he was so nice, but unfortunately I couldn't understand anything he was saying. So um, for me, it was a, I went home honestly just crying, like a mixture of feeling overwhelmed by what I saw and what I had to encounter. I mean, and also like being like in a math class, math was my favorite subject and not being able to really understand the problems. Although I know I can pretty much do algebra, but like, but you can't understand the English aspect of things. And so it was like the frustration, the like, um, and just feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you are not smart. Although like when I was in Congo, I was at the top of my class. So it was, you felt like the bottom, um, the bottom of everything. And so from there, it only takes certain people to really be there and show you that this is not who you are. It's a stage and hold my hands and let's go. And I believe like 100% Mr. Rosado was that person for me because as a kid, you can't, you're trying to figure out life yourself. And so you can't really, you know, pick yourself up. It's rough. And so having that person who can hold your hands throughout that, the whole process, the overwhelming aspect of everything um, really makes a difference. Yeah, in the field of um, English language learning, it's mm -hmm. called culture shock. Yeah. So what you were feeling has a name. Yeah. And it's an experience that's pretty universal. Exactly. When you first come into a new culture, it's you're shocked. Yeah. And it takes a bit and lots of help. Yeah. Yeah. So besides support from the ML program, I know there were a lot of people in your life at CHS that helped you adjust and helped you understand your classwork. What were some things that helped you get there from your classroom teachers? I want to or guidance classroom or, classroom. or, yes, please. Yeah. Um, so um, the first thing I thought that really helped me like just get started with the language was Rosario Still Stone, the program. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought it was Mrs. I thought it, it was, was Mrs. Rila Rosario's company. <laughs> I, I swear, I swear, I thought that was just me. I yeah. really thought it was Mrs. Rosario's yeah, company. Yeah, I thought too. she created that program until, yeah. like, until it took like, me a few no, years to actually rich. realize, oh, it's not actually Mrs. Rosario. It's like a thing in the U.S. Every, a lot of people yeah. follow. So that was like a really a huge, huge help for me. Like the first thing, and I hope you're still giving it to like newcomers going yeah. through it and then having them like just grind it through, grind through it. Because like every single day after school, my, my goal was to get it done in like one month. It was a lot. It was a lot. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. like, uh, at some point it gets like super easy because now you're starting to understand what they're saying, what, what, um, what everything means. And it's like, it goes like super quickly. And then now you're like, actually trying to play games with it. It's, yeah. it's like, it becomes exciting. And that kind of helped me like, be able to have like a few social interaction with people, like that first program. And I'm not saying like it helped me, like, you know, like I was able to say everything and understand everything and like proficient in English, but I was able to say like, good morning or go and even ask like a simple question I could do that with just that, that, that simple thing, like reserved to a stone. So that was like the first thing. And then the second thing was Miss Ozaro helping me with like um, making connection with teachers, presenting me to other students that are already speaking, like Tomi Moali, that are already speaking the language. And that could like translate, go with me in like different classes and even introducing me to Miss Mrs. Basson. And mm -hmm. 
and Madame Loiseau who was also really helpful for in ESS um, science if I'm pronouncing it right it's been a few years mm -hmm. um, helping me translate um, the lab um, manual we call it lab manual at UVM but lab, the lab procedure and how to go through the lab and understand the different concepts so I thought those were a few things that were super helpful Oh, that's excellent. And how about you, Dorcas? Yeah, well, I call myself the iPad girl because <laughs> back in the day, it was, yeah, so for me, the first thing it was like carrying that iPad around. Yes, I did the Rosetta Stone and everything, but carrying that around um, and really it helped me to understand what's going on in class, but also uh, I, like, to interact with um, my classmates as well and my teachers. Um, I think also like the proactivity of the teachers, like I would say like someone like Mrs. Albright, like we were doing Midsummer Night's Dream and like she knew I won't understand the straight up Shakespeare. So thank <laughs> you for that. And so she already got me a book like that translates the, that translates it to uh, basic English so I can be able to understand. And so that was really, really extremely helpful. Um, in just the teachers really like having different activities in classrooms that kind of isn't necessarily a lot of like a lecture but something that allows you to kind of see what they're talking about like in uh, Mr. Gagne about the I think was it the revolution and we had like a a whole like thing in class like that really helped like those different activities because it sticks um, the point of teaching is for it to stick and those activities really help students remember that oh like when I think of this war this is what I think about when I think about this subject this is what I th think about because of that activity um, so yeah so I see a mixture of all of those things I'm also gonna add to that um, I think also having the snacks in yeah. the classroom <laughs> yeah. was super helpful because you don't want to be you don't want to be struggling with school work I'm yeah. like, <laughs> feeling really hungry, hungry. Uh, hungry and everything. So I thought like having this snack was something also a perk to learning the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. I feel yeah. like I have to mention that as well. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. Well, you've given a lot of suggestions and you've shared a lot about what it felt like coming here. Now I'm very interested. CHS has helped you both become so successful in getting into college, but you taken that and run with it and I'd love for you to share with our teachers um Kubi what are you up to what's happening in your life right now where are you that's 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 a really good question um I just finished my last final which was surprisingly a French exam but I'm excited yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have com completed it it was a it was a struggle in the class it was a little challenging because I haven't written French for like since I left CHS, which was <laughs> since I finished my last French class, which was sophomore year. So I haven't written, I haven't practiced. I, I can speak it, but like I haven't written anything in French. So I was really excited to finish it. I mean, I got a really good grade in the class, but I was just glad. I'm glad that I finished yes. the, my final. So I'm graduating um, next week, actually, with a UVM. bachelor. Yes, yeah. I, from UVM which, with a bachelor in electrical engineering. And a concentration in semiconductor engineering. So that's oh, very exciting. okay. So, Kubi, yes. your first day at CHS, you were shocked and overwhelmed by computers. Yes. And look at that arc. Yeah. Now wow. I can. Now I can. <laughs> now I can actually write software to do stuff like yes. that. Most a lot of people can't do. So I'm really proud for that. It was like, I'm, bring it on. I'm really grateful <laughs> for that. So that's that's one thing, and then I recently also accepted an offer at Global Foundries to work as an equipment engineer, and I might be a uh, uh, what is it called uh, a process engineer. I'm not sure. So between those two, equipment mm -hmm. or process engineer. So I'm starting in August. So that's what I've been up to, and I uh, interned for them for about three years. And among those three years, I also interned for Agile Technology for an electrical engineering position where I was building PCB boards and also troubleshooting and doing a lot of dirt testing and stuff over the summer. So that's, that's, that's a few things that I've been up to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you make everyone very Thank proud. You. Thank you. Um, and Dorcas, would you like to share, uh, your 
achievements? Yes. Um, I would say before I even uh, get to that, um, like I think for me the foundation honestly started like in eighth grade, like the the Colchester uh, schools. And so all the teachers, Mrs. Rosado, Mrs. Batson, Mr. Gagne, uh, Mrs. Albright, and without forgetting um, Miss Hughes and Deja, uh, I mean, Dela and Miss Hall as well. Um, I, I think for me, uh, yeah, so I did go to UVM right after uh, CHS. And so the AP classes there really prepared me like for the writing component, uh, like you really had to be in a certain level writing wise. So shout out to our English teachers for, for those. Um, and so I did biochemistry uh, at UVM. I uh, got my, ma my bachelor 2022. Uh, and then I did my master's right after. I also did a breast cancer research and my master was in pharmacology, got it 2023. Um, and during school, I was interning with uh, Agilent Technologies, which is one of the big dogs in the industry of mm -hmm. biotech. It's huge. Um, and now I uh, work for Genscript, which is also one of the, the big biotech companies. And I'm a sales account manager. Uh, and yeah, and so I'm excited to be um, like moving in Ohio and uh, continuing my career. But overall, she's keep uh, making the difference um, and keep uh, just sharing what like a good educational system can do for a student. Um, it's not just about the, the now for your students, it's about their futures. Uh, and you can see from both of us that it really has made a huge difference. So yes, it's a little bit extra work to um, you know, help and add in all those activities or diff and get to really know your students on ways you can uh, you can help them uh, better than English, but it really makes a, a difference when we get to sit here and talk about our teachers and, and being grateful for where we are in life. So thank you CHS and um, yeah, I hope this class just gives you more perspective of what to do to continue making that difference for your students. And uh, do you have any last final words for your teachers? I just want to say thank you. They all helped me a lot with preparing for college and especially with the language. I didn't really have any problem with the language after I left CHS. Yeah. I mean, I, I, um, there were a few things that I didn't know, but those are, um, I figured like they come with time and I was patient enough to like learn through them. And yeah. I'm really grateful to have been a CHS student. And so I thank you. am very grateful to both of you for coming and taking some time with me to give your perspective to uh, the wonderful teachers and educators and guidance counselors and everyone at CHS who cares about our multilingual learners. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.